Alan here. I hope you are all keeping safe and well as it's just been over four weeks now since we have been in lockdown. I wanted to touch base with you all again. A question I've been asked many times since Boris Johnson declared the UK in lockdown on the 23rd of March is when is all this going to end? We were informed by Dominic Raab on the 16th of April that we would be in lockdown for at least a further three weeks. Chris Whitty announced on the 22nd of April that until a vaccine is found, it will not be business as usual. Therefore, it would appear that social distancing will continue for the foreseeable future for the benefit of our health and safety. I appreciate this is most frustrating for many of you who have been advised not to leave your, their homes. We would like to encourage you to stay positive and look forward to the future with jokes and laughter being highly recommended. Investments. I am sure you are aware that many of the investments have been affected by the current economic situation. FTSE 100. This is the share index of the 100 companies listed on the London Stock Exchange with the highest market capitalisation that varies in accordance with what's going on in the world around us. A few clients have been concerned about their recent valuations. To help put this into perspective, the FTSE 100 stood at 7,689 points on the 17th of January, the highest it had been for the year. Following the announcement of the lockdown by Boris on the 23rd of March, it closed that day at 4,993 points which represents a fall of 2,695 points. Since that date, it has been making a steady recovery. And today, the FTSE 100 opened at 5,752, which is positive news. Understanding risk and reward, a very basic explanation. For a middle risk portfolio, Balanced 5 on a scale of 1 to 10, stocks and shares would only represent 50% of the investment asset allocation. Therefore, rise and fall in the index would relate to only half of the investment funds. For businesses unable to trade as normal, there is assistance via local government grants, also the furlough scheme which has been introduced which offers 80% wages subsidies for employees together with a similar scheme for self-employed. Back to the subject of risk. We strongly recommend that you do not crystallise uh, a loss by encashing your investments during this challenging period. Please remember these investments are for the medium to long term. Following our many financial planning meetings and discussions, we have tried to ensure that you have sufficient income to maintain your current lifestyle, together with a cash cushion for emergencies. I would just like to remind you that the fund managers who are taking care of your investments are still working, albeit remotely. They are also taking into account the current situation and making decisions around how best to manage your money in line with the agreed risk rating. Fortunately, we have been able to continue working remotely and the team are safe and well. We look forward to seeing you at your next review meeting and are here to help you if you have any queries or concerns. You may have family or friends who do not have a financial advisor. If you know of anyone who could benefit from our professional help, please feel free to pass on our contact details 
We would be delighted to hear from them.